Joelle, welcome to, to your first wildfire. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so there wasn't a lot of dance in this, but I'd like to talk a little bit about your movement process. What is your background and what do you incorporate into this? Uh, well, first of all, like, I do a lot of like, sport and keep training a lot myself. And, and I practice uh, a martial art called capoeira. And I keep practicing a lot, everything, every day. Great, thank you. Uh, wow, so, the under the leg stuff was really tight, not going to lie, thank you. Um, I've, been, I've been trying really hard to come up with a tech question, but this is actually the real question I want to ask you. So, a lot of us get into thinking that being a professional performer means you never make a mistake, which, of course, not true at all. Tell us about uh, what you do to recover from a mistake to keep the audience with you. Uh, well, the um, example with the with the juggling and all that, I usually make a lot of mistakes. And, uh, and after I go to the unicycle, that is, uh, I actually practice that fall a lot. <laughs> so it was very hard for me creating uh, this part that you fall and people feel like, oh man, this guy is going to feel bad. Uh, so the mistake that I do when I drop, I just keep going because I know that I set a, a mistake in my act, so uh, that will clear everything that happened in the past. <laughs> So throughout your performing career, uh, I'm sure you've come into situations that were challenging, difficult, uh, especially this looks like some of this was probably done as busking um, around. Tell us a little bit about some of the, uh, the more difficult busking experiences you've had, maybe even with the sack or without, and some things that you've done, you've learned over the years to overcome those difficult situations. Well, uh, uh, as, uh, the gentleman with the tobacco say. <laughs> uh, I started tra traveling in Central America uh, in 1998. In, in 1998. Um, I've been in many places doing fire and da 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 da. da. Uh, when I came to the United States, I wasn't allowed to just go to the park and do fire. So I created me and my wife that we work together. We create a whole, uh, the whole show with no fire and keep friendly and, <coughs> but it's hard here for do a street performance except for some specific festival. And we don't do so because we get hired to do it. So we don't go a street performing anymore. <laughs> In the creation of, of this piece, was there anything in particular that you found especially challenging? And if there was, you know, one day if one of us may face the same kind of problem, what did you do to overcome that? Uh, well, actually, the, I, I, learned, I practiced all by separately. And the falling part of the unicycle is the one that is hard because it's hard to fake a a fall and, and make it look, uh, probably some of you didn't even think that I was falling for real, but uh, yes, uh, creating the piece, uh, thinking about the audience, what the audience going to see is difficult because the piece has to kind of fix with the energy of that. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Welcome to Wild.